M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Yaesu FT991. Someone asked me, can you adjust the screen brightness? You can, you can even change the title color and the LED brightness. So watch this, press the menu button and navigate until you get to, let's start off with number seven, because we're already there. So we're up and down with the multi-function knob here. So we're gonna turn it until we get to TFT dimmer, which is number, number eight and it's sort of highlighted in blue. Press select and then it highlight, it's highlighted again and now you can use the same knob to increase the brightness, okay? So that's that done. When you get to the brightness you like, press enter. Now, back, go back one, press the menu again, go up to dimmer LED, okay? Number two was set out here. Press enter. Now watch the lights here, these lights here. Sorry, let's just get it right. Menu. You have to press press select first, then you can do it. See it? Going dimmer and brighter. Okay, then we go back, press menu again, and we're gonna go up to display color. We're on green at the moment. You highlight it in blue, select, and then look, you've got gray blue, green and red, purple, they all look good to be honest with you, enter and then when you back out with the menu button, that's it and remember if you want to see the waterfall like you're seeing on mine you have to enable the water waterfall, um, so let's, I'll quickly show you that and then we'll end the video. So go down to menu, I know it's quite a long menu, 115, press select and it says waterfall, if I move away from that now spectrum, enter and look, which you know some people prefer that. You know, a lot of HF operators prefer that. They can see the band activity. Remember, this is a HF radio. You've got VHF, UHF, C4FM. Let's change the C4FM. We just turn, pretty sure they are C4FM. Oh, no one's there at the moment. But if I hit the HF band, go band, 40 meters. Not much going on there. But anyway, we're now on HF and this is why a lot of people are still buying and look at the 991 as a as a as a very good choice because they're not sure do they want a, a yasu 710 do they want a 991 ftdx10 they're they're you know they're like icon 7300 well if you want a radio that does everything and does it well the 991a is a no-brainer get the a because you get the water the fluid waterfall if you go like so and what we'll tap the spectrum again go back to waterfall enter and then menu the the only thing i've always thought they should do yeah myself is why don't they give us the option because it wouldn't be that hard so that we can make the waterfall larger or even the whole screen why not it's just firmware everything the radio has all the hardware it needs to do that so what do you think thanks for watching my youtube channel bye for now